This video tutorial is provided by the College of Graduate Studies at UCF. In this tutorial, I will review the requirements for pagination and demonstrate how to insert and format page numbers and how to switch between different number formats in the Word document. UCF requires that all page numbers be centered at the bottom of the page without any additional punctuation. All front matter should be numbered with the lowercase Roman numerals and numbering should restart at 1 in Arabic numerals on the first page of Chapter 1 and continue through the end of the document. The section we refer to as front matter begins after the title page and ends at the beginning of the first chapter. No number should appear on the title page, but it will still be counted for numbering purposes. The page immediately following the title page, which is either the copyright or the abstract, should display lowercase Roman numeral 2. When you are ready to add page numbers to your document, begin in the Home tab by selecting the Show Hide feature to reveal all the formatting already present in your document. You should have used page breaks to move content to begin on a new page each time you moved content, either at a heading or otherwise. Scroll down through your document until you reach the last page prior to your first chapter. In the case of this document, it will be the list of acronyms or abbreviations page. First, you want to delete the page break that is present on the list of acronyms page. Place your cursor next to the page break and hit the delete key. This moves your chapter one heading up to the previous page, but your next step will move it right back so you don't need to worry. Now you're going to go to the layout tab and select breaks. From the drop-down menu, choose the next page section break. As I said, the chapter one heading has moved back down to its own page. And now you have a section break in between your front matter and the main body content of your document. With your cursor above the section break, go to the insert tab and select page number button on the right select bottom of page and plane number two. This will insert your number centered at the bottom of each page. In order to change the appearance of the number from Arabic to Roman numeral, go up to the header and footer design tools menu and select page number again. This time, select format page numbers and in the box that opens, change the number format to the lowercase Roman numerals and under page numbering you're going to select the button next to start at and make sure that a lowercase i for the Roman numeral 1 is in that box. When you click OK you'll see that that change has been applied to your page numbers. You can also see at this point that there is a page number on the title page. Remember that we want to count this as page one, but not actually have a number appear here. So to remove it, still in the header and footer design tools menu, check the box next to different first page. You'll see the one has disappeared on the title page and your second page is still page two, three, and so on through the front matter of your document all the way up to the list of acronyms or abbreviations page, which is currently the Roman numeral 9. And then your chapter 1 page begins the body content where the numbers switch back to Arabic. However, we want this page to start at number 1, not 10. So to change this, double click in the footer on your chapter 1 page and in the design tools menu, go to page number again format page numbers, leave the Arabic numbers setting, but change here from continue to previous section to start at and make sure the number one is in that box. When you click OK, you'll see that the numbers have changed to Arabic numbers beginning at one, two, three, 
and so on. And if I go back to the page before the section break, you'll see that the numbers are still lowercase Roman numerals. This concludes the video tutorial for page numbering. For questions, please use the Format Help section of the Thesis and Dissertation Services site. You may also refer to the PDF instruction file, page numbers, section breaks, and orientation. For more video tutorials, please return to the Graduate Thesis and Dissertation web course.